There he is. How does that happen? Whoa. I haven't got it hooked up with... Holy sh Oh, man. <laughs> Let's, <get a> <laughs> Let's see what the damage is. This is why everyone hates the Cybertruck. It was only one week ago that we went with our buddy Ivo to pick up his Cybertruck, and now apparently it has broken down in the middle of nowhere. Ivo is completely stranded on the Nevada-Utah border, and we are on our way to go get him unstuck and see what the problems are. And he's not just stuck, he's up in the mountains by a mine. So there's no tow trucks, there's nothing that can go up and get to him. I just can't wait for people to see, oh, a Raptor R saves a Cybertruck. Track. So tell me again what happened. And suddenly there was this noise coming from the front right. So I looked at it. Then we found out that the bolt is loose in the middle. I was making a bunch of weird noise. We'll be there soon. So everybody's giving me a hard time about airing down. I'm not doing it for traction. I'm doing it for a smoother ride. While we're driving at these ungodly speeds, I'm gonna grab a couple clips with the drone and just see how they look. Where's it at now? Just coming in from a little bit from up top. And then kind of try to swoop in front and kind of get some cool. Holy sh <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Alright, slow down. <laughs> <laughs> Crash the drone. It's our first time ever crashing a drone. Oh, that's not true. There she is. There's no way it's not totaled. <laughs> She's good. Well, I don't believe I bet you it. The, I bet you the gimbal will have some issues. Well, so it just... worse. Man, I crashed one a few years ago up in the woods. Crashed one in Moab. Oh, I crashed last year up in uh, Washington. That's why, let me just say, DJI Care is so worth it. Off the, the gimbal still works. Look at that. Gimbal still works? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right, back to Ivo's. He's out there waiting for I us know, to arrive. We're screwing around. And we're out here crashing drones. 83. See, these are the kind of speeds that he drives constantly. And it's a one-handed drive. Yeah, it's a casual, just a cattle grate. <laughs> Didn't you absolutely destroy yourself on a cattle guard once? Oh my gosh, when I came off this uh, hard-packed dirt road onto a freshly graded dirt road and it was like marbles. The truck just got out from underneath me and I overcorrected a couple of times and uh, wiped out a cattle guard. <laughs> That's just an old gin too though. Garbage. This road is so bumpy. All right, it's been just a minute. We want to make sure Ivo's doing all right since he has no one else he can get a hold of. So we're going to give him a quick call. Call Ivo Zadarski on speaker. I don't see Isla Zadorski in your contacts. You freaking idiot, Siri. Ivo. Hello. We just wanted to call and check up on you and make sure you're doing okay. Well, we went to see the orange vine. Do you have food or are you okay? Oh yeah, I forgot to eat. I got emergency food, emergency water. Okay. Emergency and you got banana. you got your iced tea and some smokes then, so we're good. Oh yeah, I have cigarettes. You don't have to bring me <laughs> anything. Well, we're gonna go see that other line now, so you know you're gonna be here at least an hour, right? Okay. Right? Yeah, well, yeah. Less than an hour. Okay, so. So you are not here, we are at the bottom line, okay? Okay. Okay, thank you. So you went for a rescue mission too. Are you gonna be Oh yeah, you're gonna be documenting it, right? Oh absolutely. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, so clearly he's doing alright. He's doing fine. He's got iced tea and smokes. Usually people be like, how how long until you're here so I can get going? He's like, are you gonna be gone long enough that I can check out this mine <laughs> alone? Just hanging out? No, he's got somebody with him. Oh, he does? Yeah. Oh, okay. He's Wait, got, who's there with him? He's oh. got a visitor with him. Oh, he cannot have other friends than us. <laughs> we'll have to talk to him about that. <laughs> Tunnel Springs Road. Last time I was here, there was three feet of snow. I got stuck about right here. 
Well, pinstripes, we earn every one of them. One minute, Ivo. One minute away from saving the broken down Cybertruck. I just wonder how bad a situation it is. You need your destination is on the left. There he is. Oh, yep, there he is. Let's see what the damage is. Less than one week and already hey. stuck. Ivo! <laughs> oh man. So this is what Ivo has to subsist upon. Yes, an emergency. An emergency <laughs> situation. Man, hey, you're putting some pinstripes on her. Well, I finally wanted to go and test it on something better than doing a donuts and dragging. <laughs> so these are Ivo's other friends, which is upsetting because we thought we were his only friends. <laughs> 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 Just kidding. So he sent me a picture saying that the axle nut was loose. Let's check it out. So, sure enough, it's loose. It's loose? Yeah, I'm screwed it and look, look at it. I already did. I don't see anything meaningful. You got the branch for it. How does that happen? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was built on a Friday. <laughs> it was built on a Friday. <laughs> What's the drive on that thing? Half inch? Yeah. Or three eighths? Probably half, half. Half drive. Okay, I don't have a half. Because... Yeah, that one's tight. It's, it's, it's tight. <laughs> so the size of the bolt looks like it's 14 millimeter. I'm guessing that's going to be 150 to 180 foot okay, pounds. Let's see if it's going to... Let's see if it'll drive. You can see if it spins. It was spinning oh, before. yeah. Let's see if it goes into gear. And the drive. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. If That's I would have a sucker at 116 bigger, I wouldn't have to bother anybody. Hey. I brought the whole big tool kit and it, is, it ends at 7 8. Anytime I can bring a Ford to fix a Cybertruck is a good day, especially since it's a Ford Raptor R. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to follow you out because we still don't know the longevity of this go after them? This repair, so we'll follow you out. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, but I thought it was a spline. Ford vehicles is a spline well, and that bolt just holds it in. What's going on that that thing pulls that thing in and when it comes loose, you get the what yeah. I was getting. I'm still guessing that there's damage. If you heard grinding when that was loose, I bet you the end of the splines are stripped off. Oh. But I'll have a talk with this one about it. We'll see. Okay, so we got the truck the cyber truck rolling again. We're going to follow him out just to see if he makes it. We're just uh, going to let him lead, make sure the uh, Cybertruck's okay. And you watch, he's going to drive that like a Raptor. <laughs> he did the first five minutes I was with him. He's like, he's been in two vehicles off-road, a Caprice Classic and now the Cybertruck. And we get up here, it was loose, we tightened it, and now the vehicle goes without grinding. Obviously, he's still going to have to get it into Tesla and get it taken care of because that grinding noise is certainly going to cause some, has caused some damage. Last time we were here, we didn't even make it to the mine. There was like a four feet of snow. Oh, gosh. And Sterling couldn't do it. Oh, no. All right, Ivo, how is it running? Everything's going good, no noises. Yeah, it's perfect. I'm just thinking if I should go faster. Just keep it. What do you think? Yeah, well, at least keep the speed down to where I can keep up with you. You know, I've only got a little raptor. Ah. <laughs> We're aired down to 20 pounds, so our teeth aren't falling out. How's your teeth doing? No, I'm fine. I have 49 PSI on all wheels, uh -huh. and I could go faster. I don't think you can hear you. But yet. I won't, okay? I don't think I can hear you. We're pressing the button. <laughs> Okay, it's, it's doing just fine. I have, I'm at 49 PSI. So I could go faster, but I don't have to. I think those two in there with him are probably pretty nervous because he's driving fast. He's got a radio in one hand. There is a this. You know, you wouldn't have had this problem if you'd have bought a Raptor. You gotta get yourself a Raptor. Did you get yourself a Raptor? Okay, you get the point. Okay. Hey, when you get here? <laughs> mm. 
What's the fastest you've ever driven? This one I got it to 110 on the highway. Okay. Because I was trying to blow the dust away. Yeah, like that. <laughs> oh, <another> one. <laughs> oh, he hit that one hard. This is worse than the uh, <laughs> the road we took in here. <laughs> Google Maps and said, Got another one right here. <laughs> okay, this one's even worse. Almost run over rabbits. <laughs> <laughs> Almost ran over a rabbit. At least you have something for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Come all this way <laughs> just to tighten one bolt. <laughs> Yeah. What happened? <laughs> oh, we had so much fun. The Cybertruck unscrewed itself and he screwed it back. So that's it. So we got screwed and he unscrewed it. Sorry, no. He he screwed out back to the good, good screw position. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of screwing going around. He screwed us back to, screw up to where we needed until to go. he showed up and got us screwed up correctly. We're going to say goodbye to Ivo for the night. We're going to head back home. See ya! We got Ivo fixed temporarily. We'll see what Tesla's going to do to get him taken care of. And uh, it was a fun night in the desert. Sterling's Wild West.